okay there's people who be like oh don't judge people don't do that don't do this girl What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a video of me talking about my kind of friends. Um, I'm doing my makeup, but obviously not focusing on any of the makeup because we talk about why I ain't got no friends. And we're gonna indulge in that, talk about like what's up with me and, and all that stuff. So if you guys are interested, I don't know, I really felt like I wanted to talk about this because I was doing some reflection. Like, girl, why why ain't you have friends? And then I was like, oh that's why so <laughs> if you guys want to figure out why I got no friends maybe some of these things that I talk about will relate to you pertain to you and help you out I don't know but I just had just a reflection to talk about it so anyway if you guys want to hear about that and just see how I created this look you know what I mean and just kick it then stay tuned and today's video is gonna be more on the topic of why you're growing back friends because I <laughs> I've been doing some reflection people and um, I don't know I just want to talk about it you you may relate to it so oh honestly if someone says anything I get it I probably should have my hair tied back but girl I'm too lazy to go back upstairs to get a hair tie I just want to get my makeup done so I'm just gonna rock it out okay by the way, I am having a big jewelry moment. I'm just wearing some pieces. You guys probably recognize these rings from Milana B collection. And then some other pieces that I've had over some time. Um, I recently pierced my ears again. Low key, I should have pierced this a little bit higher, but then I was scared because I was getting into some cartilage and I didn't want to really pierce that. So it kind of looks a little wonky, but oh well, it's fine. Um, so I did two, these two. And then I did this one. So yeah. Let's get started with some color correcting. I don't feel like I have to color correct as much, but we're still doing it, girl. So anyway, let's get into the topic of today's video, which is why you girl ain't got no friends. So I've had to spend a lot of time thinking about this because, you know, recently you guys know I was in my funk and it had me thinking about like, one of the biggest things I struggle with, which is being alone. And part of me is like, I'm not gonna lie, so part of me kind of almost enjoys being alone in the sense of, I mean, I do like being alone and having my privacy and having my own time. Sometimes when I'm feeling bad and you know, you probably shouldn't be alone because you can kind of just dig yourself into a hole, I'm almost like allowing it because, well, I am allowing it because I'm doing it, but you know what I mean? So I started to think like, why do I always feel so alone? Like, I wouldn't say I don't have friends because I do, but I don't have friends that I feel like I can call all the time and obviously meet up with because I'm in a different state now. But even if I was in the same state, really call, meet up, do this, that, and the third. Like, I don't really feel like I have that kind of group of friends. And also I don't feel like I have a group of friends of where I can really indulge like, myself and the things that I struggle with, the things that are going well, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I can get really deep with people. And I was like, okay, well, why girl? Why do you feel like that? What is going on? And I come to the realization that, to be honest with you guys, I have expectations that I feel like a lot of people really just, not to say, I don't know, just people don't meet the, the, the standards. Um, and then there's other reasons, you know, maybe I have some really great people I enjoy, but we live far and everybody has things going on in their life. There's a lot more to the story than just people not meeting my expectations. But I feel like the people that, I think majority wise, of why I can't have like that super deep relationship is because I have um, expectations and when people don't meet them or when they fail me many times I'm not one to keep trying I'm like girl goodbye so let's dig into that a little bit so typically like my expectations I feel like are almost basic be a good person have integrity don't have a hidden agenda um just do the right thing uh, it, you know if you can if you can help it just do the right thing you know i don't know i mean the expectation everybody has their drama but sometimes when your mess 
like interferes with your character and how you actually are that's when i'm kind of like ooh, uh uh because everybody has their everybody has their own thing you know what i mean everybody has their problems everybody has something going on everybody has their struggles but i feel like when you allow your struggles to really like mess up your character that's when i'm kind of like ooh, girl i don't know i don't know because i honestly have so much energy for you know, I only have so much energy. I believe in exerting your energy. I believe like you only have so much energy in your body, okay? And you know, you can create in your energy and it's kind of like, you know, it reveals itself in a sense, but if you put out too much energy and you're not refilling yourself or that whoever you're giving your energy to isn't helping you refill yourself, you're gonna start struggling and you're gonna weigh yourself down and that's how I really feel. So I feel like my energy is really precious and I can't waste it on dumb stuff because really to be completely honest with you, like I said, we only have so much energy and I'm not about to be sitting here struggling because people are acting a fool and can't get their life together. I think when it comes to having friends, um, I really do like look at friendship as like you and I should be rocking together for ever, really. Like it shouldn't, you know what I mean? You and I should be friends. We don't have to be uh, calling each other every day and, and, and talking every day because I actually some of my nerves. I hate clingy people. I think I might be clingy with you. I'm not clingy. I'm only clingy with my boyfriend. But that's what I love it as. But uh, <laughs> I don't really like being like all in people's faces. I don't like people in all of my face i like my time i look at people and i really enjoy their friendship and i basically what i do is i place the same expectations that i have for myself onto other people that are close to me because i feel like if we are close we would obviously have probably the same ideas and like morals of just how you move in life and so what i've kind of realized is that unfortunately me having the same expectations for myself and putting those on other people like people aren't me unfortunately like and people aren't going to move exactly like me so it's kind of like you can't really expect that like you really do need to lower your expectations slightly because at the end of the day you move the way you do because you know what you want and like you know how you want to be seen in life and so you know you can't say that for everybody that you come across and meet which i had to do a reality check because that's like so true like it may come off like a little like weird or controlling or something i hope not but i really just want to be around people who have the same mindset as me like literally the same mindset um you don't have to be we don't have to be in the same places in life like at all i don't you know i'm not judging off of that or anything like that but if we have the same um mindset and how you're supposed to move in life that's what i really care about now when it comes to judging people okay there's people who be like oh don't judge people don't do that don't do this girl how do you not judge like i don't really believe in that to be honest with you and i'm gonna tell you why i don't feel like if you, if you don't if you're not a person who judges people by their actions you can't really you can't really determine what's good for you or what's good to be around you your kids your friends whatever if you don't judge certain people or certain situations if you don't judge how they act and move then you almost are tolerating bad things if that's what they're doing you know what i mean like don't judge them kind of head asses i just i don't agree with that how do you not judge somebody and what i mean by that is like, i'm not trying to judge people on telling them this that the third like i'm not condemning them but judging them and their actions helps me determine if i'm going to keep you around in my circle i want to keep you around in my life if i want to deal with your foolery how do you not judge somebody i don't understand that concept of not judging people now i'm not condemning them like that's not my like that's not my job essentially but i do have i do have control of who i let in my life and if you're foul for some whatever reason if you fold if you if there's something's wrong with you and you are a mess and you're bringing mess into my area i'm gonna tell you you're messy and you need to take your mess somewhere else i don't but people people you're judging girl then you're tolerating a lot of bullshit. I'm gonna say that right now. Whatever you don't confront is what you tolerate. And I am not like that at all. I don't tolerate bullshit, I don't. If I don't like you because of the way you move and I can tell that you are not in a place that you actually wanna change yourself. And by all means, if you feel like you're living correctly, go ahead, but that doesn't mean I have to be around you. Damn, we got all these damn jets flying over the house. Come on now. Arizona's a little creepy, I can't lie. In no way, shape, or form am I sitting here telling, you know, people that they have to 
you know, what their way of life and what the way they're living is bad and, and you have to change and all that stuff. If you don't want to change and you feel like what you're doing is cool and you like the way you're living, that's fine. Do what you want to do, boo boo. But you're going to have to do it somewhere else because I, again, don't have tolerance for foolery. And if I determine what you're doing is foolery to my standards of how I live my life, then it's foolery. I mean, and we don't have to, we could agree to disagree, but that's the end of that. <laughs> that's just how I feel. So I feel like along with that, um, having my expectations, I struggle with really finding people that I tolerate. And that's really what it comes down to, is toleration. And like, that's how I feel, you know what I mean? Like, I really pay attention to how people move in life and how they operate. I wanna have those deep conversations about what do you expect in life and what you want in life and, you know, how do you, you know what I mean? What, what What's important to you? That's the type of stuff I care about, but more importantly than that conversation, I wanna see you put it in action because everybody can talk and say this, that, and the third, but if you're not actually living that life then I'm kind of like uh wow I look crazy as hell <laughs> but let's get back to topic um so you know when it comes to I feel like my circle's small because of those reasons and honestly as much as I wish it wasn't I'm not mad at it and I don't think I'm gonna change the way I move because I I, I feel like I don't feel like I'm wrong in the way that I see things and I guess maybe that <laughs> Maybe that's a problem, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I do need to get myself right, but at the same time, I just, I know that I wanna be a good person. I know I wanna move correctly. I know I wanna do the right thing at all times. If I can help it, you know, I fall short like everybody else, but if I can help it and I can do what's supposed to be done, I wanna do it. And I don't think I can really be faulted in that. I do want to, move the right way and I want to be around people who want the same thing and I have no problem with meeting people in the middle and you know not everybody's perfect everybody has their own things like I said earlier and I have no problem with you know the baggage you carry because I carry a lot myself but if there's no steps forward like what are you doing like I don't mind meeting people in the middle but if you ain't moving I'm not gonna keep moving <laughs> what <laughs> Like, I don't understand that. And maybe that's more selfish of me. Sometimes I do feel like I'm a little selfish, but I feel like my this, if it is selfish, it's just me trying to protect myself and my energy. Like, at the end of the day, like, I don't want to keep trying to pour out so much to people and I'm not getting that in return. I don't wanna see myself depleted. I don't wanna see myself hurting because people can't reciprocate. And so if you stop moving in our relationship and we can't meet in the middle, then I'm not going to go any further either. And that's just how, that's just how I feel. And some people don't see it that way, which is fine. The other thing that makes it hard for me to have you know, more people in my life is I am so like, I have discovered this, which it's not new, but it's kind of one of those things, like I've always had it, but I never really acknowledged it. But like, I have anxiety, like really bad. And let me not say that, I have anxiety and I know that, but I haven't really acknowledged um, how it affects me in certain scenarios. Um, I could talk and chop it up with people, no problem. But I do have this anxiety of putting myself out there, um, like kind of like putting myself on the spot. Like when things happen naturally, that doesn't bother me because it's not forced, it's not planned, it just happens. But when things feel like I'm putting myself on the spot, I, oh girl, <laughs> I have the hardest time. I get so nervous, I get so uncomfortable. Um, I can't really explain it, it really be getting to me, but I think that's another reason why I kind of struggle to really venture out because I'm also struggling with the idea of putting myself out there, which really makes me uncomfortable, gives me anxiety, makes me nervous. And you know, you can't really, how, how do you really expand your circle or meet new people if you don't do that, which is what I struggle with. And I'm a, such a homebodied person at that, I really don't really, go out or anything like that. I don't know why I feel the most comfortable at home. There's no expectations in the sense of feeling like you have to be a certain way, speak a certain way, act a certain way, 
dress a certain way, like it's it's your space, and you're vulnerable in there, and you can just do what you want to do. And that's where I feel most comfortable. I'm a person who likes to watch movies and really just kick it. Like, if, can we kick it at home? Do we have to be in the streets? That's where I'm at. Like, do we have to be in the streets? Like, I look at social media a lot, and I see the people who are in the streets, and I'm like, God, I do this all the time. Like going out to like strip clubs and bars and clubs like i just i don't know I, and i'm not judging people who go out and do those things or i really don't care i just can't get myself to do it because i get very uncomfortable i do i get uncomfortable being around a lot of like a lot of different people i get very very nervous uh, like i'm over here thinking the worst case scenario when i go in a place i'm like where is the exit at where is the fire alarm at what, what can i do in a situation if something pop off what can i do where can i escape that's kind of what i do it's a little crazy but <laughs> sometimes you just gotta do it girl you know what else i struggle with um people who just want to be your friends for the benefit of them i struggle with that because i come to find out that people who want to be my friend end up just wanting I don't even have nothing, so I'm not sure what they want. They I, look, I'm a good listener, I give good advice, uh, makeup. I mean, I don't know, but I notice that people have an agenda, which pisses me off because I don't do that to people, so I don't, I don't know why. I don't know, I don't know why people want to play like this. So if you can't already tell, I'm like a guarded individual because people in their sick, like, agendas and how, what they want from people you know people moving differently like i don't know why the expectation is you just need to rock it out with people no nope, hell i don't girl I have to move on and call it good i don't have time i don't have patience that's what i struggle with patience and i have no patience to deal with stupid people i just don't i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry if you're dumb and you keep doing dumb stuff i mean at some point girl i'm just gonna have to leave the dumb shit to you i can't do it no more I have been loving the no filling the brow situation. It's been it's been really great for me. Love that. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of just the gist of why I don't feel like I have friends. And when I say I don't have friends, I have um, you know friends that I really do enjoy. I'm not with them consistently, and I don't talk with them consistently. But I mean, like really, like deep friends, like. You know, you don't need a lot of those people, maybe one or two people, maybe three, but I don't have, I have one person I know I'm going to be in my deathbed and she will be on my side and that's Jayon Davis. Shout out to you girl, that's my sister. But you know, I don't really have, um, you know, I don't have a lot of those people. She's a very rare gem and I just, I don't know, it sucks because you would like to have a little bit more. You know, you would like to have a nice, really like consistent, loyal circle where everybody just has the, the same things going on. But then again, when I do my reflecting, Maisha, do you have to be the way you are? Do you have to be so just like strict about what you want out of people? Like everybody's not you, you know? That's what I was telling myself. Girl, like not everybody is you. So why do you, why do you keep pushing this? this i don't know and i'm just like because i want the best out of people that i'm around so i feel like yeah i might be alone right now but i may actually find people that i really enjoy you know sooner than later and those people are going to have the same ideas and i think at the end of the day like we're going to just be helping each other grow and just bettering each other's souls and stuff like that i don't want to be around people who don't fill my soul like it's a waste of time for me and that's not why i'm in it just to get stuff from you but we're supposed to like water each other's grass and that's what i think about when it comes to like a real deep connected friendship like we feed each other souls we are there for the good times the bad times and you know the way your dynamic works is how it works and it doesn't have to be like everybody else but that's you know what i mean like at least feed my soul okay as i'm feeding yours is what i think i struggle with because i i don't know if it's a cancer thing look i'm always resorting back to zodiacs <laughs> but um I don't know if it's a cancer thing, but we're just really deep spiritual people. Like we really seek deep connections and I that's what I seek. And I just, I can't find that in a lot of people nowadays and it really sucks. And it doesn't have to be deep every time we talk. Slow your roll. But you know, the connection is deep. Like, you know, we can chop it up, laugh and have a good time. And then when things get serious and I need you, you're there, vice versa. Like I really make it my goal to want to surround myself 
with people that I admire, that inspire me, that um, make me kind of question the way that I move, even though I feel like I'm trying to do a good job, if I'm falling short, just their actions alone of how they live my life make me reflect on mine and make sure that I'm still on track the way I want to, you know, leave this earth. I want to leave a legacy, you know what I mean? I'm a person who just wants, I want the relationship, I want the deep relationship. I don't want the little um, high and by, like I've never been that kind of person. So um, when it comes to my friends in the same way, like we're either going to be friends for life or not friends at all. Maybe acquaintances, but I can call you friend, you know what I mean? For this specific topic, I felt like I really needed to reflect because it's one of those things where it's like you either accept like what it is because you're not willing to change things around or you change things around and see if you can get a better result and i'm kind of in the like space of like it, i could change things around and maybe that would help me in the sense of finding different people i can really like bond with but at the same time do I feel comfortable along my standards of what I'm looking for and people just to have in my life? Like, you know what I mean? So I kinda, that's where I'm at. Like, I don't really want to lower my standards, but again, I could just keep, you know, doing what I'm doing and hopefully, you know, come across people that, you know, have the same desires as me, like same, you know, wants as me in life and we just vibe and we get along and we just end up being friends and everything's all gravy like it could be that way but I just had to do some reflection and I kind of was like you know what that's kind of what it comes down to that's the reason why I feel the way I feel as far as like not having relationships with people I have high expectations and I project those expectations onto people and it's kind of like uh you know like I don't mean it in a, a horrible way my intentions is good but I'm realizing not everybody is me and then on top of that you know um I do have trust issues. I'm very um, aware of people who have hidden agendas and I really try to stay clear of that because obviously that's not genuine. And with that, I, I'm trying to protect myself while still like trying to let people into my life, which is kind of like counteractive. Like I'm trying to protect my heart and my just energy because you know, I'm pouring that into people and you just never know when they're gonna fail you. And then, you know, when people do fail me, like I don't just cut them off right then and there, but if you keep doing it, <laughs> baby, I don't have no time. I have no time, no energy. So then I cut people off and that's it. There's no more chances to be given because you, I, I'm seeing where you're at and I'm just like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I see where you're at, I'm good. So it's kind of like, you know, I know the situation. I understand where I'm at and like, what I am doing in this situation to cause the result, but do I want to change it? Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Here's the thing, I have family, I have friends, um, distant friends, and I have, you know, acquaintances, I have you guys, like I have support and I have a circle. Um, I guess I'm just really longing for that close-knit, like, um, relationship where you constantly kind of vibe with people and they, we're just all on the same page, so. I guess I wanted to talk about that because that's been on my mind and with everything that I express about myself and why things are the way they are, maybe you guys can relate too. Oh, you guys like my nails I did myself? <laughs> yum, yum. I think one of my pinkies is crooked. I think it's, which one is it? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, don't mind that, but <laughs> it's cute. Other than that, that's really it for today's video. I just wanted to talk, get things off my chest, kind of express a little bit more about myself and why I have this situation happening. And maybe you guys can relate to the situation and how I feel too. And if you do and you just have ideas, if you've ever been through something like this, if you, you know, have ways to go about things like this, comment down below. I would love to chat with you because I don't know. I just felt like I really wanted to talk about this. Like, why don't I have friends? Like, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but I'm actually pretty dope. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm, I'm cool. I'm a cool person, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not judging you just like your character. And if your character's faulty, then, you know, it is what it is. It's, I mean, I only judge the facts. That's how I feel about it. I judge the facts. And that's just how you act. And if you act faulty, then, you know? But I'm cool. I ain't judging you and like how you dress, how you look, you know what I mean? How you talk, what kind of food you like, nothing. I'm only judging you on your character, girl. And if your character cool, then be cool, you know what I mean? So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really just me talking and 
doing my makeup because I didn't really want to just sit here and just stare at the camera and just talk. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys at least enjoyed the look if you really care less about what I was talking about. And if you liked the video, of course, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Comment down below because I want to have the dialogue, okay? Subscribe, it helps you out again. And watch more videos because I got tons of them. So check them out. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.